I feel like I've been neglecting SML movie. I ain't gonna lie. It has been a second since I uploaded on this channel. But, SML movie, Scooby Doo. I love Scooby Doo. Who doesn't? We're just gonna be in the video. You already know. Link in the description and everything. All right, guys, you ready to go practice trick or treating? I still don't understand why we need to practice trick. Oh, I see. They look like the Scooby Doo members. There's Fred, Velma. Shaggy. You're treating. We've been doing it for years without a problem. Because, Cody, this is a dress rehearsal for Halloween. We... <laughs> Scooby and uh, Daphne, was it? Make sure our costumes look good and make sure we say trick or treat right. How do you say trick or treat wrong? You just say trick or treat and then they give you candy. No, Cody, you have to say the whole thing. That's how you get more candy. You say trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. And then the ref. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. I like that better. That no, 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 better. we're not going to say that. We're not going to say if you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. Like, you're threatening to assault them. You're threatening to pull their underwear down. Who wrote that? Bill Cosby or Jared Fogel? Well, that's just how it goes, Jenny. We're not they could have said something like See, that. This is why we have this whole dress rehearsal. So we say it right, because if you say that, we're going to get arrested. All right, so I think we have the whole gang. We got Joseph as Scooby. And we got Penelope as oh. Daphne. Daphne. And we got Cody as Elma. And then we got Fred. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> we got Fred. Shaggy. Wait, we're missing a character. We're missing Scrappy Doo. Oh, well, we don't have a Scrappy Doo. Oh, it's too small. You need like a really Shaggy small dude. Shaggy would be a good Scrappy Doo. But we don't even have the costume. Uh, I'm gonna go ask him if he wants to be Scrappy Doo. But we don't have the cut. Whatever. Come on, guys. He has to see. He has to see our costumes. Okay. okay. Make him want to do it. <laughs> hey, Chef Pee Pee. No, not right now, Junior. I'm making fried fruit by the foot. That sounds yummy. Ugh. Wait, you guys just like Courage the Cowardly Dog for Halloween? Wait, you're four days early though. No, we're not Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> Isn't he pink? <laughs> or like purple? Pink. I mean, I guess I could be Muriel and Junior could be Eustace Bags, but no, that's not what we're doing. But Joseph is the dog! No, we're Scooby-Doo. Uh, never heard of it. Impossible. Everybody's heard of Scooby-Doo. How? Well, I didn't, because I never had a TV growing up. Well, I feel like it still would have gotten around somehow. Well, it, it missed me. It never got, got around. What do you guys want? We want to know if you want to dress up like Scrappy-Doo. Well, how do you know Courage? Curl, curls the cowardly dog then. Who? Well, Scrappy Doo is like a little Courage the Cowardly Dog who's also an asshole. No, I want to be Clifford. Oh, you've heard of him. Okay, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Who hasn't heard of Clifford the Big Red Dog, you idiot? Okay, but we don't even have a Clifford costume or a Scrappy Doo costume, so I don't even know why we're asking you. Come on, guys. Let's go practice saying trick or treat. Bother me and my fruit fry. Mm. Ugh. Uh, it's good to be a billionaire. What the? This house is actually... Really underwhelming. I thought it was gonna be like luxurious, like next thing you know it, like triple stack, like a skyscraper site building. It's kind of underwhelming to see this as his house. Time, get in here! Yes, sir. Empty, more yummy. Very well, sir. Hurry, Ties, I'm parched like a pear tree. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ties, you're blindfold. Put it on. I don't want your life to be too easy. Oh. <laughs> Very well, sir. <sighs> You better not spill it. I swear to God, if you <laughs> one drop on that counter, I'm gonna beat your ass. You know what? I'm gonna come watch. No, oh, where is it? You better not spill it. That is Poppy Rose 2007. But sir, I can't see. <laughs> didn't you go to Butler School or some shit? Well, they didn't teach me this in Butler School. Well, they should have. Wasn't it on your resume that you were the best blindfolded wine pourer? Sir, you just made that up. <laughs> no, I didn't. You better start pouring. I just don't see under what circumstance anyone would ever need to blindfold them in order to pour wine. This one. Now get to pouring. Oh, very well, sir. I, I actually don't feel like it'll be that hard, though. Okay, while well, he's holding it. I think the biggest problem is he's holding it, so he can't feel. But if he had his other hand and he was holding it up to the wine, like the wine bottle, then maybe he perhaps he could possibly, like, let's say this is a wine bottle. Like, if I'm pouring this, I'll just eventually work my way to it, and then I'll just start pouring it through. Like, wouldn't that be a lot easier? It's <laughs> so fucked up. I tell you, look what you did! There's no way! I swear I was pouring it in the glass, sir! Chives, I'm tired of you screwing around. Now get your ass out there in the yard and pick up the gardener shit. The gardener defecates in the yard? Yes, you know you're not allowed in the house, that old stinky fuck. Oh, very well, sir. Go! Keep the air up! Get in here! Mess time! Did you go for me, Mr. Goodman? Yes, mess time! Why did she come with her own soundtrack? No, that's yummy time! This is mess time! Clean it! Oh, so 
Do you want me to make a mess with my mouth? No. Take your hand and a napkin and rub over the table o and clean up the fucking mess. Oh, so you just want me to clean up this wine with this napkin? CC's pizza. Yes, yes, pizza. Now I'm gonna go make sure Javier the gardener didn't leave his orange picking ladder under my fucking orange tree. Or else he's going right back to Jehu. Orange, orange picking ladder under his orange tree? <laughs> She's been stabbed in the back! And you know what that means, Chive? That means you're gonna have to pick up the slack around here and start doing all her jobs. That I thought he was already doing that. House, giving me bumpkins! Oh. Give me thank you, Tom! No, sir, anything but that! I really think we should just call the police! Okay, you do that, and I'm gonna go Google up some cities in Mexico where I can find a new one. Oh, where's my phone? That's so oh, fucked I gotta up. call 911! 911, what's your emergency? Please help, there's been a murder! Oh, do you know who did it? No, 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 it just happened! I have no idea who could have done it! Well, don't worry, because you're talking to a clue master. Let's see, it has to be Colonel Mustard in the study with the candlestick. What? No, no there's no Colonel Mustard here. Okay, then it's definitely Professor Plum, it's always him. <gasps> what? Are you playing Clue? Yeah, are you not playing Clue? Sir, there is a dead body here! Someone has been murdered! Oh, shit, for real? Uh, okay, well then I'll, I'll be right there. Thank you, please hurry! <laughs> He's already here. Hello? Trick or treat! Oh, is he gonna mistake them over the actual, like, <laughs> Scooby-Doo gang? What? I know Halloween's not till Thursday, but we wanted to practice saying trick or treat. What? It's three fucking words, Jimmy. I, I <laughs> called the cops, though. There's been a murder. A murder? You hear that, gang? We solve crimes. Is that a stash? We, we're the mystery gang. Oh, no, that's part of, like, Scooby's, like, patch. Is it? The, the mystery gang? Oh, you must mean forensics. Yes, come right in. The body's this way. But body? Cody, do we go in? No, Junior, we don't solve real crimes. Well, but we're, we're the mystery gang. Let's ask Scooby if we should go in. Hey, Scoob, should we go in? Yeah, sure. Well, roll, Raggy. Good idea, Scoob. <laughs> That's his only line. The body's over here. Zoink, Scoob. Jinkies. Yabba dabba doo. That's not it. <laughs> Say it right. Oh, roll, roll, Raggy. Do you have any dog treats me and my dog can eat? What? Uh, no. Oh. Well, all right, gang, there's a dead body. What should we do? I think we should split up and search for clues. Come on, Daphne. Okay. All right, guys. There's two clues here. A knife in this girl's bag. No one's going to question, like, the absurdity of the crime. <laughs> and a body with a knife in it. I think you can get those as one. Well, look, we're going to solve this murder. We're going to find out what happened to her. Junior, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> we're supposed to be practicing for trick-or-treating, which is stupid anyway because it's not even that hard. It is kind of hard, guys. We've been trick-or-treating our entire lives, and not one time have I messed up saying trick-or-treat. Then why do we need to practice? Because there's some people who have a hard time saying trick-or-treat. Hey, Joseph, how do you say the words when you open the door on Halloween? Oh, smell my feet, give me some money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, close enough. He doesn't, he just doesn't quite get it. How, how does he get the part that's lesser known than the, <laughs> the actual trick-or-treat part? I understand that, but we're not going to solve a murder, Junior. But look, we're the Scooby Gang. We can solve murders just like they do in the show. Okay, they're not called the Scooby Gang, and they don't solve murders. Usually it's just some goofy guy in a mask running around <laughs> trying to scare people for insurance purposes or something. What was that last part you just said? For insurance purposes or something? Hey, bald man, do, yes. do, does anyone, like, p pull out, like, a life insurance policy on this woman before she died? Well, Mr. Goodman did, but he does that for all of his servants. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. this Mr. Dun. Goodman guy and see where he was during the murders. Well, he was with me in the backyard while I was picking up the gardener's shit. <laughs> he was with me, watching me pick up his shit. <laughs> oh, I'm out of suspects. We should leave. Yeah, I agree. We should go home and let the police handle this. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? I said we should let the police handle this. Police. Police help me is what she said before she got murdered. I can hear it in my head. No, you're not hearing it in your head. You're just thinking that because it sounds like please. Wait a minute. 
I think I know who did this. Okay, who did it? Chef Pee Pee. What, how the fuck did <laughs> Chef Pee Pee do this? Where was he at when she got murdered? Probably your house where he always is. See, you always think he's at my, at my house. See, we don't, we don't ever think he's anywhere else. So he could be here uh. stabbing her in the back when we least suspect it. Why would it be him? I don't know. Why wouldn't it be him? It literally could be anyone in the world. <laughs> I still can't stop thinking of that. Chimes had a watch as his own shit was getting, oh no, as he was picking up the gardener's shit. <laughs> yes, it could be literally anyone in the entire world. So we have to start interviewing everyone in the entire world. Junior, we're never going to interview everyone in the world. Not with that attitude. If you just stop talking and stop yapping, we can get start uh, talking to people. Okay, well, let's go talk to Chef PB. All right, well, I think we should drag the body and show him the body. J Junior, why are we going to drag the body there? <laughs> because if we show Chef PB his victim's body, he's going to cry when he sees his victim. Like, you, <laughs> you, if uh, we go say, hey, Chef PB. Or he might have a panic attack. You kill someone, he could lie to us. But if he sees the body right in front of him, he's gonna cry because he can remember stabbing her in the back. I think if you show anybody a dead body, they're gonna freak out. Listen, you just go find the other two, and me and Scooby are gonna drag these people to drag this body to our house. Okay, fine. Uh -oh. Oh, come on, Scooby, she's slipping, she's slipping. I got her, dude, I got her. Grab the body, grab the body. <laughs> Isn't the police gonna show up? What are you saying? Uh, uh, Raggy. Yeah, okay, <laughs> hey, what are you guys uh, doing? Oh, hey, cops. Uh, we are solving a murder. Really? Because it looks like you guys might be doing a murder. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. See, we're the Scooby gang, and I'm Shaggy, he's Scooby-Doo. I can see that, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, this guy called the Scooby gang to solve the murder. No, he called the police, and I would know because I am the police. Oh, well, listen, you don't have to do anything. We got it from here. We, we, we have a prime suspect. Uh, oh, well, who is it? My chef, uh, Chef Pee-Pee. Oh, what clues have you found? Uh, we found a knife in this woman's back, and she's dead. Okay, and what about that? That's <laughs> Chef Pee Pee. Oh, the kitchen knife. Uh, the, 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 thank you, Scooby. What'd mm -hmm. you say? Uh, uh, row, row, kitchen knife. Yeah, yeah, so the, the, the kitchen knife, my chef is in the kitchen, and he uses kitchen knife, so maybe he came over here uh, and stabbed yeah. her with the kitchen knife. Okay, but we're nowhere near his house. <laughs> yes. See, that's, that's what makes him a prime suspect, because no one was to suspect it's him, and he just probably came over here and did this real quick. Okay, look, uh, I don't feel like arresting all of you and doing all that paperwork, so I'm going to let this play out, because I have a feeling you guys are just going to call me later. Yeah, he realized we're better than him. <laughs> totally. Well, then you're going to have to do the paperwork. Oh, oh, Jesus, slippery one. Oh, my God, Fred, I think I found a clue. Oh, my God, where? It's right there. It's a mask. Oh, my God, you found a clue. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, uh, Shaggy and Scoob are dragging the body back to Shaggy's house. Hey Velma, look, I found a clue! Yeah, she totally found a clue! Oh wow, good job guys. No, say the thing. Yeah, say the thing. Oh, Jinkies! Jinkies, <laughs> clue! This damsel's distressed. Okay, but guys, seriously, can we cut the shit? Somebody's actually dead and Junior's dragging the body back to his house. So <laughs> grab that, I think it might be important. Okay. okay. Well, okay, let's just grab everything at this point. What am I doing wrong? Hey, Chef PB. No, not right now, Junior. I'm trying to fry this room out of foot, but it keeps melting. Have you tried? No. Don't put her in the fried pan, please. I put batter on it. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try that next time. Chef PB, do you know this woman? <gasps> Why did you bring a dead woman in here, Junior? How do you know she's dead? Because she has a knife in her back, you dumbass. I never pointed out the knife. How do you know there's a knife in her back? How do you know that's how she died? Context clues. I can see with my own eyes. Duh. Hmm, Chef Pee Pee, what have you been doing tonight? Frying fruit by the foot. Did you not hear me? Are your ears not working? And you've been getting mad at that fruit by the foot, right? Yes! Ah, yeah, now you have a motive. <laughs> and maybe you want to take that frustration out on a woman's back with a knife? Uh, well, maybe, but no, not really. I don't even know this lady. Oh, okay, so you don't know this lady. How do you know she's a lady? How do you know she doesn't identify as a lady? How do you know she doesn't identify as a man? Be because I... How do you know her pronoun? <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't know her like that. I'm just assuming. Wow, and what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and me? Damn, you're right. And what does asses do? Shit. Mm. And you're talking a lot of shit right now, Chef PB. What do you want from me, Junior? <laughs> Did you kill this woman or not? No, I didn't kill that damn woman! And he's not crying, so I guess in Junior's logic, yeah, he's not guilty. You swear to God? I swear to Moses, anybody! Moses, he didn't swear to God, but he would swear to Moses. Well, bro, what do you want from me, Junior? You just forever, uh, for some reason you can't swear to God, but you'll swear to- I swear to God, okay? Does that make you feel better? Hey, Junior, they found this mask. It might belong to the killer. Uh-uh, that mask is way too big to fit my small face. Oh, couldn't be me. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's right. This mask would never fit him. Oh, I guess we have to look for other suspects. Wait a minute. What now? When we came to ask you if you wanted to be Scrappy-Doo, and you thought we were Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is no way close to what we are, I think I saw that mask behind you. <sighs> Oh my god. I can see it. 
I could see it. What? No, you didn't. What are you talking about? Wait, Junior, look right here. It says property of Chef Peepy. <gasps> <laughs> Chingies. Let's split up, gang. But why? Scooby Snacks. What? L look, I, I <laughs> killed her because I hate working here, and I want to work for Mr. Goodman, and she stole my job. So I said, if I could sneak up and stab her in the back while she's working and cleaning up, oh, <laughs> she could die, and it would be a job opening available, and it, I could steal all the jobs. <laughs> why would she drop the mask then? It would be mine, and I could have gotten away with it too. It wasn't, if it wasn't for you, you curse the cowardly dog. Nope, not even fucking close. We had <laughs> one line and you messed it up. Yeah, Chef, you was supposed to say, if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Meddling kids, yeah. I told you I didn't watch the damn show! You're gonna go to jail for killing someone. You swore to God also, that's fucked up. It's right here. I'm gonna move the camera, but it's right here. SML movie, link in the description. That's incredible. I did not even notice that. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people would have noticed that as well. That's actually hilarious. This is the stupidest. Oh uh, no. I said that way too many times. This is dumb. I'll see you guys later. Bye.